And it is wedding season and you know, the brides get crazy, but obviously the mothers, they lose their heads. <laughs> they get nuts. <laughs> Lindsay Fork is with us with Lejeune. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry, bad joke. With Lejeune Marie, two locations, Worthington and downtown. And we are going to talk about getting the mother of the bride yes. feeling and looking beautiful on the same day. Her Absolutely. daughter is obviously the object of everybody's attention. Yes. So that can be a big challenge. Or well, the groom. Or the groom. Mother of the groom. Mother, mother of, the bride. of the groom. They as go well. hand in hand. <laughs> and and what is it then? I think prior to this, everybody thought it had to be just kind of a dowdy look, mm -hmm. really, and now it's really changed. It has. I mean, probably the biggest thing I get when mothers come in is if I had a nickel for every time this happened, I would be a millionaire. I, w I need a mother of the bride dress, but I do not want to look like a mother of the bride. Yeah. I don't want to look dowdy, but I want a sleeve. They still want to be covered up, and that's okay. really difficult because it is hard to find a dress that has a little bit of coverage that isn't dowdy looking. So I brought three examples today Good. to try to explain okay. how they don't have to look that way. Here we've got a little cap sleeve, so yes. let's explain this one. So this is probably for something that's a little bit more black tie, a little bit more evening. Maybe it's the very reception's elegant. at the Westin, you have chandeliers, whatnot. Um, it is a strapless dress, and this is just an option. So uh -huh. this can be an option for you know, putting something like this on at the ceremony oh, yeah. to be a little bit more modest. When and she this is after a couple doing the gator later at yes, night. <laughs> after a couple glasses of wine, we can take this little thing off. And, you know, it allows the mom to have a little bedazzle herself. So. And this is nice because if she wants to have a little attention drawn to the waist and not other places, it's exactly. just there. Mm -hmm. Very pretty. What would that run typically? Something this like runs that. about $350. That's, yeah, that's not bad, not at, bad all. at all. No. And then we can move to the next look. This um, this dress is nice. This is for the mom who maybe wants a little bit more fashion pow in the dress. As uh -huh. we know, in ready-to-wear lace is very popular right now, and as well as the peplum. And again, you have this really nice waistband at the natural waist to really accentuate the small part right. of the waist. Same material, same designer as the last dress. This runs about 375 Now you're going without the sleeve. So yes. is, is this for a toned mom or a, a what? Honestly, when the moms say they want to cover the arm, I really, truly believe that that actually accentuates what they're trying to hide more so really? I say going sleeveless is actually not a bad thing at all huh I think they should try it try something on that you wouldn't normally expect because you might be really surprised and what are we paying for this this is about 375 as well that's great Close. those yeah. are beautiful and I noticed they're long is they're that a long. trend as well it is it is I brought a short version to kind of show something a little less fancy but the long I think the moms always want to try to stay with what the bridesmaids are doing and we've been seeing a lot more long bridesmaids lately okay so. This is what we're seeing live. And what you're going to show us next is kind of what I've seen many mothers of the bride or bride or yes. mother-in-laws, that is. I've seen them do. Around here. That's fine. Go ahead. And um, this is the suit look. This is more of the suit look, That's yes. Pretty. But I think it's cute. It's, really it's a metallic pretty. brocade. It actually reminds me of that very British style that we've been seeing a lot lately. Yeah. Um, putting a really fun fascinator on with this would be really great. And again, it doesn't have to be dowdy with the sleeve. This is really just something more for daytime to cover up. And then we can bring this off, and you just have a really nice little oh, tank exactly. style cute. dress. That's really cute. And I do believe this can be worn again. And that real terrible quick. sailing. No, thing. I agree with you. <laughs> I want to ask real quick the debate. Do mm -hmm. you have to worry about what the other mother is wearing, the color? Rule of thumb is the mother of the bride picks first, and then the mother of the groom picks. If that's if that's who's going to be in the wedding, the mother of the bride wants to pick her dress first. We don't want to start that fight right no. out of the gate. <laughs> no, These no, are no. beautiful. Thank you so You're much welcome. for sharing. Thank See, you. You can be the mother of the bride or the mother of the groom and look just as hot as the center of attention. Thank you so much. Hey, we want to give a local teacher a whole new look into uh, before they start school, that is. You can enter to win our Good Day Columbus makeover from Nurture Salon. Just log into my Fox 28. Columbus.com, myfox28columbus.com. Click on contest. Be sure to include a picture. The winner will show off their new look right here live on Good Day Columbus later this month.